Welcome back to the Dark Pictures Men of Medan, Part 9. So we're currently searching for the for a generator, I believe, to get the radio up and going. We almost got someone on the radio. And it cut out. Mysteriously, just at the right time. And we've just saved the pirate with the gun who was going to kill himself or us. Uh, somehow we managed to save him, so hopefully that works in our favour. Hopefully he helps us out. Got my headphones in. Let's jump into it. By the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh. I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. Why wouldn't you go off by yourself at a time like this? background is so distracting. Blitz, come here. I saw the, the the big guy. He had the distributor cap. You gotta go after him. Who's in the background? This must have been what we just heard. Oh no, what's that? Does it matter? We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. More of the mist. Oh god. There he is. Chuck can make it across. Sure. Something or someone? Jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. So I guess if you stand and miss too long, you die. I thought it went into a doorway there.
Oh my god. I didn't waste any time. Fuck. Oh. Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky. I wish I wasn't so bad at quick time. Be someone good. <laughs> what is going on? No, I'm not going to do anything. Cap, it's out of the picture. Guess it's time for a new plan. I wish I didn't run away when I was Conrad. That was probably one of the friends as well. The Duke's not going anywhere without a distributor cap, so neither are we. Best I can figure it. We got a couple days. Maybe more if we can collect some rainwater. I always kind of knew I would die on a boat. What happened to the generator? Not this shitty boat. Oh! <gasps> 
don't understand, really, I mean, just how crazy it got down there. I mean, just how fucking out of control. He was an asshole. <sighs> was. Connie meant well. No matter what moronic thing he was up to, he always meant well. It's just a big old puppy dog. <laughs> just trying to make everyone laugh. Conrad was running from something. He was really scared, like terrified. I, I, I don't know why. I couldn't see what he was seeing at. That fucker that took our boat, he thought there was gold. He wanted the gold. That's all this was about. I mean, there were things down there that, you know, he shouldn't have been alive, you know? The kind of things that can make you go insane. Connie meant well. No matter what moronic thing he was up to, he always meant well. It's just a big old puppy dog. <laughs> just trying to make everyone laugh. <laughs> And he fell. Or he, or he jumped. I don't know why, but I... I think he was running away from me. Manchurian gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected. I guess that's it. Pretty solid game. Some genuinely creepy moments in there, some good jump scares. What's this guy got to say? Anything? That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. And the distributor cap? Boom. Unfortunate. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable.
Won't you spare me over till another year? Won't you spare me over till another year? Well, Won't you spare me over till another year? Won't you spare me over till The other thing I noticed, the, the pictures that we found, I didn't really see. I don't think we saw any of those come into play at all. The characters. I liked Julia, and I didn't mind Brad. Bliss. All right, she's okay. Um, I think Conrad annoyed me a bit, and so did Alex for some reason. So I guess stay tuned. I'm gonna jump into Little Hope next, and we'll go through that. I think that's what it's called. Second one in the series. Thanks again for watching. It's been fun. See you next time. Someone would pray once you come and call me another day. The children prayed, the preacher preached. Time and mercy is out of your reach. Lo and behold, the pale horse and the rider who decides the fate of one who made a failed choice. Put a tail off behind it, the trails off in the fire that spark those who don't know they're stuck on a stale course. Yeah, we all face death when it comes to take your breath. Usually without knowing how many days are left. Some raise their chest, others cower when it comes. Whether you're living in the towers or down in the slums. Oh, death. Oh, oh, death. Won't you spare me over till another year? Well, I'll fix your feet till you can't walk. I'll lock your door till you can't talk. I'll close your eyes till you can't see this very hour. Come and go with me. Heaven's coming, praying it doesn't come late. This is for real, man. It's how I push through my pain. When ass is always falling and death's rain. It's cold outside. Death look me in my eyes. Hold through these plans, man. We gotta be wise. Hold through together. Cause then they will rise. I'm saying peace for all my people that can see through the lies. And can that la la Brisa running up her thighs while she's singing. Oh, death. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over to the next? Take a moment to reflect on Think of all the things in your life that you slept on Or slip through your fingers like Teflon Cause you lost your focus steady Think about the next joint Saying that the next dawn you'd make things better But you didn't get a chance to make your reparations Better make some preparations But if you're not ready yet Death comes for all of us my friends So you better get Oh death Oh death Won't you me Whoever it was, they're gone. Going to okay, very good. Who's there? I fashioned her with my own hand.